Hello, third and fourth graders. Welcome to Mrs. Bernil's art class. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Um, and hopefully after this lesson, then next week I will see you in person. Um, today we are going to be doing a Veterans Day project. Um, today is Veterans Day and it's a day we honor and celebrate and think about all the people who are in the military or who were, have been in the military and um, think about how thankful and grateful we are for all they do for our country to protect us and keep us safe. So um, I thought it'd be good to honor them with a beautiful art project. Um, we are going to be making poppies and poppies are actually, it's a beautiful flower that a lot of times they use um, for Veterans Day. Sometimes they use them for Memorial Day for to remember people who died in the war. Um, but I just think they're absolutely beautiful. They're big, a bright red flower. So actually there's other colors too. Um, this one, the one we are making and the one they use for veterans are red. Um, my easel is falling. <laughs> Um, and then it has the black center. <laughs> okay, hopefully it's not going anywhere now. All right, so for our poppy field, um, we are going to need a red piece of paper if you have one. Um, and you're gonna need some circle tracers. I found just some different sizes. I thought it'd be nice to do a couple big ones and a couple little ones. Um, to make it more interesting. If you don't have red paper, I made a poppy with white paper and I just colored it red. Make sure you color it red on the front and the back. So um, you'll need a black marker. I'm using a Sharpie, but any black marker will work or you can use a crayon or color pencil. Um, I traced this, the circles in black and then um, we will add the black center to each of them and you can decide how many poppies you want to do if you only want to do a few of them you can i thought it would be nice to have a whole field of poppies um, so you'll do the circle in the middle of all of them and i'll only do a couple so you can see and then you'll do lines coming out of them Okay, and then I think it looks nice to do little circles at the end of those lines. It kind of looks like a firework. So you'll go ahead and do that with all of your poppy flowers and then um, cut them out. So I will go ahead and do that with mine and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I got my poppies and cut them all out. I have nine of them, so I have quite a few. Um, I don't know, hopefully I can fit them all on my paper, but <laughs> um, now what you're going to do is take your poppy and you're going to fold it, okay? So I'm gonna show you with a big one um, so that way you can get an idea. So I just fold it in half, I like you got a taco, then fold it in half again and then fold it in half again. And the bigger ones, you might be able to get another fold into it. The more you fold it, the more it will stick out out of the paper. This is for my kindergarten lesson. <laughs> and then you'll open it up and your poppy will be um, like a 3D poppy. So then we'll be able to glue it on a piece of paper and make a poppy field. So you're gonna go ahead and do that with all the poppies you decide to make. Remember, if you don't have red paper, I did it with a white piece of paper and I just colored it with crayon or you could use marker or different things. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're gonna draw some green stems on your paper where you want your poppies to go. So I'm gonna use a colored pencil because their um, stems are really thin so I'll have to do nine of them, some high, some low. And I wouldn't do them super straight. So I got four, five, six, 
six, seven, oh boy, I don't know if I'm gonna fit them. Eight, I did a little short one. Nine. So I have my nine stems where I'm gonna put the poppies on. Now, if you wanted to do that in paint or marker or crayon, you could do that um, in those. You could also add some little leaves. They have little tiny leaves on them if you wanna do that. Um, and then for the background, what I think is nice to do and easiest is you take a blue crayon um, that preferably is broken. You don't want to use a new one, but I just took the wrapper off and then you hold the crayon on the side. You guys know how to do this. And you just rub the crayon on the side, not up and down. On the side. And that will make it look like clouds. Okay, so that is going to be our background for our poppies. So next you'll need a glue stick to glue on your poppies. Now it's kind of hard to glue them on because they're not completely flat. So what I thought is you just find like a flat part there and glue it on or if you want to smush down the middle, you can glue it on that way. But I think it would look good if they were kind of on their side a little bit too. Um, and I'm going to glue mine down and show you how it looks. Okay, I folded mine all up. And remember, you just keep folding that in half. And um, I glued them onto my paper. I think it turned out really pretty. I might have done a darker color for the... Um, stems uh, and maybe add some more grass on the bottom I think would look nice but I love the way the poppies turned out and how they're popping off the um, paper and I remember my third graders you guys actually did a project a poppies project last year where we painted the egg cartons so um, you'll be experts at it so I hope you guys have a wonderful week enjoy your day and hopefully we'll see you next week in class oh and I also told my other students, if you send me a picture of your poppy um, drawing to my email or if you bring it in to my class, then you get to get a candy out of my birthday candy bucket because it makes me really happy when you guys try my artwork. So have a great week. I'll see you soon.